Hello everyone, my name is Silk, and today I'm going to be coming at you guys with some dogfighting tips. Now, I've been dogfighting in Battlefield 4 for quite a long time, and I feel like there's a lot of maneuvers that I can take from that game and just apply them in Battlefield 5. So I'm going to trying to go over some stuff that I'm doing in these dogfights that I got recorded, and just explaining my kind of thought process. So, just to start off with, I think this is a 3v1 situation, and I'm just looking for playing this out in the open that I can go for. I don't really want to go into a 2v1, and I'm just trying to, you know, pick off my targets here. see a plane and my friendly's already on him so I'm going to take the 2v1 and help him out. Again long range using the first cannons, close range going to switch to the close range ones and just rail them. Get him out the way really fast. Now there's another plane that's going to come towards me in a second and I'm going to turn towards him to close that angle as you can see here. Look in the rear view and I see him turn right so I'm going to turn right as well or left to meet him I guess and I see him he's going to go up so I'm going to try to go down and just meet him up at the top of his loop. Again, here where he changes direction, so I'm going to change direction as well, but I don't quite get the angle here. Just playing with the uh, rudders here, just trying to get a quick angle, being really lazy. I could have hooked him there, but I didn't do it early enough. So finally, I see him, he's still looping, so I'm going to hook him down low. Rudder towards the enemy, and uh, just turn in quite tightly. The whole purpose of hook is if they're just looping, you can do a, like a low loop and meet them at the top of their loop, as I do here get two rockets off and that's some solid damage right there just 83 I'm gonna come in with the long-range cannons now that I see him repairing and he's dead so the lesson here from him is just don't auto repair and you gotta count to what I'm doing he sees me hook but he doesn't really change his maneuvers so again here just taking the first kill not really willing to dogfight him at all just want to get him out of the sky another plane's gonna come towards me so I turn towards him to close that angle see him turn right so I again look in the rear view and just turn to counter him and I'm coming down again I see him looping horizontally so I'm gonna try to again get a little bit of a wide angle and get some shots but he flies away from me basically giving me his tail and I'm gonna um, take this fight pretty convincingly we're gonna have one more plane up after this one again this guy Dylan's a bit too close here and he doesn't really spin around enough so he's gonna get killed Finally have another plane here in front of me, and he's going to give me a free shot on him, so I'm going to take it. The whole point of this clip is to show some high-low yo-yos, so again, I'm playing with the low angle here in a second. Yep, so I'm going to go a little bit lower, trying to scoop up on him, and um, don't quite get it, so I'm just going to keep trying to play with them angles, and I will get him eventually just doing this. So again, going a little bit higher here, and I'd want to try to get up down behind him. Basically cut to his part of his loop, and he's not letting me do it. He turns up again, which is it's a good temporary counter, but we'll get him eventually. So again, yoing up high. Since we're using reverse rudder, I'm using a lot of throttle here. And I'm going to come back down on him, get the angle. He tries to switch here, but I see him, so it's a bad switch, and he gives me a free kill. Next clip here is just to show a really bad switch again. I'm behind this guy, and I can kind of see him the entire time. And you want to switch when they don't see you. So right there... When I didn't see him for a split second, would have been an acceptable switch, but he doesn't do it. He switches when I see him, and he's a free kill. Next clip here, I think I'm defending off the bat, and I'm just trying to get a repair off. You want to have all your engines and like rudders and shit, they all have to be on full health if you want to win the dogfight. So see him here, going to look in the rear view, turn towards him. I'm in a defense here, so I'm trying to slow down a little bit so he can overshoot me. Again, when you're in this rolling scissors kind of thing where you're exchanging angles with each other, you want to be the slower pilot. That way you can actually be behind them and gain the angles for yourself. I see him go up, so I'm kind of hooking in that way. He does turn towards me to counter it. I notice him looping around, so I'm going to try to like scissor up and into his loop. I get this, and now I'm behind him. Now I'm just playing with the low like yo-yo angle, and yeah, I'm just going to get some easy shots in here. After this point, his plane's basically disabled, and he will give me the kill. Anyways guys, that is all the clips I have for this one video. I'm going to try to keep it short to just this one background track. I'll try to make some more of these and then on December the 4th when the new update drops, I'll be able to make some specific guides on maneuvers that I'm actually pulling in this video. Anyways, for now I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you later. See ya.